Welcome everyone, my name is Julius and I'm the Senior Executive for Public Sector at the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants. In this installment of Doing Business with Government, we are going to talk about the very contentious issue of government paying you late and how what you can do to mitigate that risk. Now firstly, doing business with government and getting that tender could be the biggest, most happiest moment of the organization. But once you've done the job and you end up not getting paid, this could lead to disastrous consequences for the SMME because you might have to retrench workers and the owner might find themselves in very serious financial distress. So it's very important that every SMME takes precautions to manage the risk of being paid late or not being paid at all by government. Now, the Public Finance Management Act and the Municipal Finance Management Act makes it clear that government is supposed to pay all their suppliers within 30 days of receiving a valid tax invoice. But as, as we have read from the general report issued by the Auditor General year in year out, we know that a lot of municipalities, departments and other entities in government have not been able to comply with that requirement. So as an SMME, you really have to take some precautions and we advise a few ways in which you can mitigate the risk of being paid late by government. The first one, Please do not do business with entities in government that are not financially healthy. What does this mean? You have to make sure that you check the financial statements of the entities to see that they have sufficient financial resources to pay their debts when they become due. This is a simple exercise of checking that the current liabilities of the entity are not excessively above the current assets of the entity such that the entity will be unable to pay its suppliers when they become due. A second precaution, a second measure you can take is to make sure that you respond to valid tenders. Because there is so much money out there in government, also the other people will take advantage of the process and sell you tenders that do not exist. So it is important that as an SMME, you verify that all tenders you are responding to are valid. And how do you know that they are valid? You have to make sure that at least you get a purchase order from the entity that you are about to supply goods and services to before you even start supplying goods and services. Another way to make sure that you mitigate this risk is that you need to make sure that you can confirm that the entity followed the right procurement process. The right procurement process is stated for municipalities in the supply chain management regulations, but mostly in the Public Finance Management Act entities it's listed in their procurement policies. This is for example the fact that they need to get three quotations before they issue a tender for certain amounts or they must go on competitive bidding in that case. Another measure is to ensure that your tax affairs in order. As much as it is not a law that they are not supposed to pay you when you have outstanding balances with the receiver of revenue, some entities could use that as an excuse to not pay you on time when they are supposed to make payment. So just make sure that your tax affairs are in order and you are able to provide the necessary supporting documents when asked for by any organ of state. Now if all else fails, you have to escalate the matter to the office of the chief procurement officer in the national treasury to just get them to investigate why you are not being paid on time. The small medium development agency also has a payment hotline where they are able to lodge your query of not being paid as an SMME so that they can do some level of follow-ups with you. Again, getting a tender with government could be one of the most successful moments of your small enterprises, but failure to mitigate the risk of being paid on time by government could lead to disastrous consequences for the SMME. So we request that you take over these precautions and measures that we propose to you and also consult to make sure that you take other precautions to safeguard against this risk. Thank you and goodbye.